people don't quite understand that till they're there. And and I needed all these things, but then I realized, like, we try to make the Devin Haney fight. I contacted him. I got his number through a source. And what happened? Like, he said no. He's his own boss and everything, and that he don't want to talk to me. But I'm like, wait, bro, but that's how Crawford and Spence Wait, happened. so that's what Devin Haney said to you over the phone? Yeah, he was like... You ain't the boss. I ain't going to be talking to you because you're not your boss. Uh, your mm. boss is, is the Bob father. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, um, even Spence is not the boss. He, he, he actually gets his advisors who is out Heyman and helping with all this stuff. And wrong. And that's what you get for being in everybody business, T.O. That's exactly what you get. No, that is not how it went down. As a matter of fact, he couldn't get the fight made. That's why Errol Spence got a new management team. And when he got that new management team, that's the management team he went into with, with the Terrence Crawford fight. And that's how the Terrence Crawford fight got made. And what Devin Haney is telling you is the truth. You're not your own boss. You're not in Devin Haney's position. He is his own boss. You are not. So you calling him is actually futile if the Bob father runs you. What, what he said was correct. You and him talking on the phone is a waste of time. With Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, it made sense because Terrence Crawford is a free agent. Errol Spence got away from up under Al so he could do business with Terrence Bud Crawford. And you sitting up here talking about an example, you not free like them. You're nothing like these guys. Your problem is you keep comparing yourself and your situations to other people. You need to look at yourself, Okay. Al Heyman is not over Errol Spence like that. Al Heyman is not over Deontay Wilder like that anymore. That's why we got the fight that we got. So when you become your own boss, then a phone call like that means something. But until you do that, Devin Haney was right. You wasted his fucking time. And all you doing is clout chasing because, T.O., how in the fuck you got a fight coming up, but you spend all your press time talking about other people's situation, what they get paid, and what they got going on in their career. Everybody is doing good and they shit but you. You supposed to be promoting the fight, but you steadily talk about somebody ducking you. T.O., have you forgot that you are on the Duck Chronicles? I believe, if not three, you're definitely on the Duck Chronicles twice. If you're new to the channel, if you don't know about the Duck Chronicles, you need to get caught up on it. One of the most classic series that hit youtube as far as boxing goes i don't know how many videos left on the internet you have to go on my patreon to really get them all but some of them sh should still be on the internet and i will leave teofimo lopez duck chronicle video um in the description box and i'm gonna leave it in the comment section so there can be no mistaking you know what i'm saying that's why i started the whole damn series because this seemed like an era where everybody was ducking i was like hell i can capitalize off this all this ducking going on, I can create a series with all this ducking going on, and that's exactly what the fuck I did. But he told you the truth, man. You're not your own boss. So if you're not your own boss, what business are you going to do? That makes no damn sense. If I'm showing up to the corporation, I'm not trying to talk business. I'm not trying to talk top floor business with somebody who works the front desk. You don't run shit. So I have Bob call me, and then it means something. But you calling me? means nothing and you ain't doing nothing but calling me begging for some damn money now we got you on camera talk about 20 million 20 million so what you talk about somebody ducked you for 20 million dollars and you don't know you that. price yourself out like that don't listen to him <laughs> 20 million dollars no no let's you know you love money mother Come on, 20 all right you heard it. it takes 20 million to 20 get million dollars see what he said Y'all got to stop this bullshit and stop using black fighters to promote a fight that I guess you two can't promote your fucking self, T.O., but he told you the truth. You become your own boss, then a phone call like that, then that means something. You not Errol Spence, okay? You not Terrence Crawford, all right? You not Javante Tank Davis, okay? Get that out of your head, bro. And yet, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they both talked on the phone and made the fight happen. Great That's a good point. point. Great good point. point. Yeah, yeah. And I actually like Barack and them. But now I start to see why a lot of people don't like them. You know what I'm saying? And you see how media like to play that game. That's why I went ahead and cleared that shit up before we even got here. 
So you can see how disingenuous this whole thing is. So you can see how artificial this is. So you can see how intentional it is. So you can see how they use media to try to push a narrative that is not true to help shit on somebody over here and help promote somebody over there. Did y'all just peep all that shit? Talk about, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. No, it's not true. He's not his own boss. So what you talking about? He still got to bow down to Bob. He over here complaining about ESPN and all this other stuff. He don't run shit. So how could that phone call have meant anything without Bob? As a matter of fact, do anybody remember this? It's actually on the Duck Chronicles video. You remember when Haney ran up on T.O.? What was T.O. chanting? What happened with the meeting with Bob? 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 You don't remember that, T.O.? What happened with the meeting with Bob? I thought you your own man, though. See, when he was in your face, you were saying, what happened to the meeting with Bob? What happened to the meeting with Bob? But then you getting on the phone playing like you the honky tonk man? Stop it, man. You know what? If I wasn't on the motherfucking YouTube, I don't know what y'all would do. Because shit's so fake on here and people so afraid to tell the truth and people don't know how to line up shit to where it's not questioned and stuff like that. When I tell you something, I just don't tell you. I line it up so you can know the truth. Not just go off what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't blue blood. I, I just ain't going to tell you about some fictitious article and not lead you to where I got it from. So just to let you know, this fool is sour. You fucked up, T.O. You just fucked up. Okay? You fucked up when you beat their European guy. ESPN didn't like that. And I'll still say this. You talk about ESPN doing you dirty. Although the fans didn't cry about it, do you really think that they didn't hear you call them crackers, T.O.? I'm going to keep bringing this up. Do you really think that they didn't hear that? I understand the other people that was crying about Haney, they didn't say nothing. That don't mean the people at ESPN didn't see that shit. So like I said, you fucked yourself, bro. We going to see. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.